Hi, this is Aaron at thinkaboutlabs.com and welcome back. I took a couple weeks off, came back and looked at this project and it looks like I completely left you guys hanging. Sorry about that. I could have at least showed you how to use the spell that we're picking up. Anywho, let's move on and we'll take care of that right now. As of right now, we have the ability to pick up an item and put it in our inventory. Let's have a look and make sure that still works. Like I said, it's been a little bit since I've been on this project. So, here's a book right here. We hover over it and it does say Frost Spell. Select it. We have the selecting icon and the book disappears. And if we hit our tab, we see we have the Frost Spell book in our inventory. And that's kind of where I left you guys. So, let's go ahead and set up the use for the spell. So, I'm going to stop this right here. Let's go into the Actionless Editor. Or let's go into the AC game editor, select inventory, and go down to our frost fire spell book. And then under standard interactions for the use and examine, there's no action list to find. So we'll go ahead and create both of these. And I've noticed that there's this error that happens when you create the new action list for the inventory, it's not putting it in a folder. So under the magician, let's create a folder and call this action list. And then select the assets again. And we're just going to grab both of these and move them into the action list folder. That way it's cleaned up again. That might be fixed in the next update. I'm not sure, but that is the resolve for that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the Frost Fire Spellbook Examine. So when we examine the book, we're going to have it do something. I think something easy to demonstrate would be just a player dialogue. Let's change the action type to dialogue. And it is the player. And let's say undiscovered book of frost fire. Something to give it a description of the of the uh, the spell that we're looking at currently, and that's all we're going to put in for the examine. So let's go ahead and have a look at the examine. All right, so we pick up the book, look at it in our inventory. All right, there's our player line undiscovered undiscovered book of frostfire plays pretty quick and we can adjust the the wait time if we want to have it play just a little bit longer yep that's pretty good all right and now for the use so for the use I was looking at the code that we have um, for our whole spell manager and I think we can do it better so doing it better what I mean is looking at the player and we have the cast spell script on it and we're using a list we're pro providing the scriptable objects into the spell list and I don't think it that's the best way to do it I think the best way um, to set up this spell manager is to already have all these spells defined in the um, cast spell um, script and then through the actionless editor, we just enable them or disable them as needed. That way we don't have to worry about passing them all around and then before the player even comes into a scene, we already have, or actually even comes into the game, we already have all these spells created. We have all the parameters filled out and then we're just enabling and disabling them either on pickups or think about other games. If they um, if they go to a new level, if they get level 10, they've learned a new spell. So all you have to do is pass them a Boolean parameter and they're enabled. And it just makes things a lot easier. So let's set that up. So we're not going to use the spell manager at all. So go ahead and delete it. And on our cast spell, let's open this up. All right, and let's go ahead and start reworking this. So first thing, our magic spawn needs to be a private, but we're going to set it as a serialized field. Same thing for our 
spell, instead of the spell being a general object of the spell class, let's go ahead and call this a fire spell. And I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and remove the list. We won't be using the list. Let's go ahead and we won't need this. Let's go ahead and take all of these out. We'll go back and fix all this, but just clean it up as we go. And then we will have another serialized field. And this is where I'm saying that we can set a bull, not boo, a bull for our fire spell enabled. And by fault and by default it's going to be set to false. So none of the spells that our um, wizard has are going to be enabled by default. Which is good. Okay, let's go ahead and create um, two public functions to enable and disable the fire spell. So we'll say public void enable fire spell. And here we're just going to say that our fire spell enabled is set to true. And we'll do the same thing with a public void disable. fire spell and we'll set our fire spell enabled as equal to false okay so now we have some public methods to interact with our um, our variable to check the fire spell enabled and then in start let's go ahead and delete all this I'm telling you it just came to me and I was like what have I done this is gonna be so much easier to do it this way so but the other way is good practice too so in start we want to say our fire spell or disable fire spell on start. And we'll do this with all our spells. You can have 10, 20, 30 spells. You can call another function that disables all of them on start, but you get the gist. So on start, we're going to disable the fire spell. And then on our fixed update, when we click the left mouse button, We'll say, let's check, say if our fire spell is enabled. So if it's true, then let's go ahead and cast the magic. And that magic is going to be our fire spell. Oops. Remember that fire spell is right here. So this is where we're going to, we're going to continue to create our serialized spell objects and then we'll just drag them onto the cast spell script this way so cast magic pass it in a parameter of fire spell let's go ahead and save this and go back to unity and see what it tells us all right so now under the cast spell we still have our magic spawn this is where the magic is going to shoot from we have our fire spell, so in our resources, we can continue to read, use this resources folder. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We still have the fireball and frost spell. So let's grab the frost spell. Let's drag it into the, well, let's grab the fireball since we've named it fireball. Fire spell. And it is, I just have this set as serialized so we can um, play the scene and you can see that it's being checked on and um, checked off. Let's go back to our game editor and go to the use. So the Frostfire spellbook. Let's double click it and what we're going to do when we use the inventory item is we're going to go to our inventory. It's going to be an add or remove. We're going to remove we only have one item in the inventory right now defined, so it's going to be that one. And then after we remove it, we're going to play some dialogue, and it is going to be the player. And let's say, ah, oh, I feel a great power. Power. And after I say that, let's call an object 
send message game object to effect is Galatrian or however you want to pronounce his name Galtrillion and the message to send is going to be a custom one and the method name is enable fire spell and that's it so when we pick up the object out of our inventory we're going to remove it from the inventory we're going to play some player dialogue to denote that we've done something with this and then we are going to send a message to the object enable fire spell so let's have a look at that let's play this okay and so here's our book select it and it disappears it's in our inventory if we right click it undiscovered book of frost fire left click it oh i feel great power and it disappears from our inventory okay now if we left click looks like we do have a error message in the console let's have a look at that let's stop the game and on line 59 of the cast spell so 59 spell object transform okay so we were putting our um, spells that we're casting because we're creating empty game objects or new game objects under the spell manager so let's think about this for a minute where do we want let's just create a new one a new empty game object and let's just name this underscore temp temp store temp yeah just underscore temp that'll work and we'll just rename this to underscore temp because it is just garbage after all because once you finish the game up then all these objects will disappear and the objects actually disappear by themselves after a period of time anyways so all right let's go ahead and clear these and play it again all right so nothing in the inventory let's pick up the book it's gone look at it undiscovered book of frost fire left click on it Ah, oh, feel great power and it disappears then we can left click and we shoot it and in our temp we have all our fireballs perfect um, that should be it like I said I'm sorry for leaving you guys hanging on that just got caught up in a few other things and that'll be it for this one don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one till then Till then.